want to explain something about the importance of having probiotics. About 60 to 70 percent of our immune system actually resides around the gut. Why is that the case? Because that is the entry point for the vast majority of pathogens. We tend to think that we breathe them in, for, for example, the, the flu or the cold virus, uh, but in actual fact, in terms of quantity, most of it comes from food, because food is also exposed to the air, it's exposed to a number of pathogens, not just uh, viruses and bacteria, but also uh, sorts of fungi. And so when we, uh, when we eat, <clears throat> about, uh, uh, about 60 to 70 percent of our white blood cells are residing around the intestinal tract, just waiting for something to pass through that shouldn't be there. Sometimes it's proteins like lutein and casein which create an autoimmune response. But nevertheless, if, uh, if, the, uh, uh, if the digestive tract is not in good health, then it really, really compromises our immune system. And the immune system is essential for fighting off every disease and, uh, and uh, uh, every uh, uh, potential uh, pathogenic uh, uh, invasion. Now, one key to the uh, gastrointestinal function is the acidic priming with, uh, as I mentioned already, the, the uh, apple cider vinegar first thing in the morning. Probiotics are nothing more than a selection of good bacteria. It's interesting, we have, in addition to the good bacteria, and you can see here the lacto lactobacillus uh, of two strains and the and the Saccharomyces and the, and the Bifidus bacteria. Uh, in addition to good bacteria, they compete with bad bacteria that tend to be fed by sugar, among others. And also they compete with Candida, which is a fungus. And Candida overgrowth can lead to a whole host of health issues. So one way to keep the good bacteria happy is to colonize with good bacteria through probiotics. And you'll notice most probiotics are, are, are sold in strengths of about uh, three, three to four billion live bacteria. I have a form that's 20 billion live bacteria. Now there are a couple of interesting tricks. When it comes to the probiotics, it's absolutely fine to take a capsule and, and eat it first thing in the morning along with the water mixed with apple cider vinegar. That's a, good, that's a good way to take them, but as with anything else, it tends to be expensive after a while because each of these pills has a cost associated with it. Now, the, given the fact that these are bacteria, that if they are alive, as the box says, then one thing that we can do to keep them alive and, and going on is just to have a probiotic brew. How do we do that? They love substances with a little sugar and just the right mix. Well, I happen to love coconut water as a source of hydration because it, it uh, A, is natural, B, it will be free of any of the fluoride, any of the chemicals that you find in natural water, and it loads the body with electrolytes, which also is key for, for good cellular health. So coconut water is an absolutely fabulous beverage to, to, uh, to hydrate oneself uh, on a daily basis. I suggest it, uh, especially in areas with uh, bad water, as a, as a great substitute to water. Um, and it happens to be the perfect media to culture probiotics. So what do I do? Well, typically, all I do is to take a glass of water, and I, and I learned this from a uh, health naturalist called uh, David Wolf on one of his shows. One takes a probiotic and merely adds it to the mix and lets it ferment for 24 hours. You'll get bubbles coming up, as you can see in a, in a brew, for example. And those probiotics will then begin to multiply. And if what one does is to wait for 24 hours and that day drink about uh, three quarters of the liquid as a probiotic base and pour in more of the coconut water, then it will continue to brew, in other words, multiply. Those bacteria absolutely love this mix. And what started off as 20 billion per dose actually ends up being 100 billion or more. 
So not only do you get the benefit of more probiotics in a truly live state, because they're actually living and multiplying in this medium, so they're actually very happy when they, uh, when they enter your, uh, your stomach and colonize it, uh, they, uh, they can continue uh, ad infinitum. So with one pill, you can keep on going and going and going as long as that brew lasts. I use one pill a week. And therefore, it's also saving money in addition to being more healthy. I love those, uh, I love those little, little tips.